Hey Adventurers, Kevin Parsons here to talk about combat in D20GO and show you how simple it can be. Our goal was to reduce the tedium of rolling and narrating for every single individual round of combat so that when you're playing over online, you can just do it all in one round, determine the outcome, and then just narrate the entire battle. So we still get some dice rolling because everybody loves dice rolling, uh, and you, so there's all the, the strategy involved in, in choosing your tactics, but the players narrate the, the scene themselves rather than the, the dungeon master narrating what happened. So you still got a lot of player agency in how the fight looks, which is a lot of fun for our players. So you've got three combat tactics you can use, uh, slaughter, melee, and skirmish. Slaughter is your reckless offense, melee is your defense and tactical fighting, and skirmish is when you're using hit and run tactics or staying at, at a, out of range. So when you go into battle, you choose which tactic you're going to use. It doesn't matter what weapon you're using. You just choose your tactics, your strategies for that fight. And different circumstances may restrict which strategies you're using. You can't skirmish in a tight dungeon corridor. All right. So let's look at how battle works. Uh, you go into a combat, uh, the DM or the GM will set a difficulty class. Uh, every attack roll you roll has to at least meet that difficulty class to count as a success. So let's say the difficulty class is a 15. Now I'm going to roll 3d20 and add whatever heroic score, whatever tactic I'm using, I'm going to add that to each die roll. All right, And each one that meets the difficulty class, that 15, is a success. You need, as a party, as a whole, you need half as many successes as there are people in the party. So it's really easy to calculate how many successes you're going to need going into a battle. If you've got a party of seven members, you always need four successes for it to be successful. If you're on your own, and you can do solo play in D20GO pretty easily, if you're on your own, you're one person, you need at least half of that. So I need one success every fight for it to be successful. All right. So let's say three people go into a battle. I'm going to need two successes, right? Uh, we go into a battle. Let's say we get... We get, let's say we get three successes. That's a successful fight. Now the, the GM will tell us how many people were injured. Oh, Gimli, you got injured in this fight. Uh, and now narrate what happened. All, of, all four of the orcs are dead. Tell the story. And then the players just in turn narrate how they were involved in that fight. And Gimli, who got injured, he gets to describe his own injury too. Uh, so the players have total control over the end result of the battle and how it looks. And that's that's an entire battle on D20GO. So quick, so easy, uh, and great for online play. Happy adventuring.